I don't like tea. I prefer coffee. I bought tea because it makes me feel less unhealthy, but ultimately I'm not happy now. Two eggs over easy uh, with corn and cash. That's better. What a time to be alive. We have, we have 11,000 subscribers on YouTube. We have like 30,000 followers on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, by the way, if you don't already. Our two year anniversary is the 13th and we have sold hundreds of watches. And I am like incredibly, disgustingly grateful for all of that achievement. But even more so, I am, I am far, far more grateful for the people I've met, for the people that I've, I've gotten to have the opportunity to help find watches and, 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 and kind of explore their passion and learn more about uh, how their passion relates to their life, you know? I am, I am incredibly grateful for anyone who's learned anything from our like 129 episodes of Ask TNH, a series that I thought people were going to hate because it was just me talking to a camera. <laughs> but we double down. We make more videos and, and, and we find more, I mean, like top-notch incredible watches. This week is a great example. We have Universal Genie Pull Router. We have Omega Constellation. This week may be the week of like ultra high-end movements. We have a Tudor date date with a blue dial that is, is to die for. And all I see ahead is another week and another week and another week of, of doing what we love and, and meeting new people and sending new watches to Qatar and Tokyo and Georgia and, and, and Independence, Kentucky and, and to so many places that I never thought that we'd ever have any association with. Yeah, yeah, I'm really f***ing grateful. And I'm about to have a big breakfast and I couldn't be happier. So let's check out these watches. It's breathtaking, isn't it? I mean, it's a pure example. It's matte, light blue dial, custard loom, which has exploded over time, and original Tudor bracelet make this a dream example. Call it the paintball effect or Jackson Pollock. This UG pull router super is an astounding piece. I've never been so interested in where something has been. Triple calendars are two things. First, arguably the best complications in the vintage market that are relatively affordable. And second, famous for being in awful condition. This Rost, however, is a beauty. From its toasted dial to its mint red tip date hand, I'm in lust. The black and gold combo on a chronograph never happened. No, really, this combination, which we've come to die for in the last few years, nearly never happened. But damn, were we lucky to snag this Royce chronograph. With its mint black gloss dial, I couldn't be happier. 1952 was a turning point for Omega. It was the first year that they released their first ultra-accurate timepiece, the Constellation. I have always and will always love these watches. And this example, with its silver sunburst dial and slight patina throughout, is, by some miracle, as beautiful as it is horologically important. Just look at this Hamilton. Its slate sunburst silver dial, date at six, and bright custard loom on both its hands pack way more punch than its price point. I don't know about you, but I love when that happens.